Hello watch fans. Beth Year watches here and in 1975 this watch cost $312. That's over £1,200 in today's money and it's a Pulsar. We've got an envelope here for an extra time set bar. We'll explain what that is in a minute but it is empty that envelope. We have the outer box which is a rare survivor and of course the inner box we'll see more of these but they are a hard plastic so they do crack so it is nice to have this one in good good order with a little creak and then we have the watch now this is a Pulsar P3 Pulsar were a branch of Hamilton Hamilton launched the world's first uh, not LCD but uh, LED light emitting diode watch in 1970 hugely expensive more than a Rolex then the P2 followed and they they called it Pulsar because of the effective light in the universe they named a new brand so you've got the time and you've got the date and if you press the time yeah so you, that's the date in the American format and the time And if you hold it down, it tells you the seconds. Now you see that the light does go off. So every time you want to look at the time, you have to press the button. And it'll stay on for a couple of seconds. That's fine on the wrist. It's a bit of a novelty. But it does get boring when you're trying to photograph it with the light on. But as you can see, all the sections are lighting up. No problem at all. So an expensive watch when new. This one has some condition issues, but the originality makes up for it. So you've got the original bracelet, but it is a little bent and tired. But it's there and it's long enough for most wrists. The other big issue is the big chip out of the glass here. We've been trying to find a glass to replace this. This oyster shell chip is just a little annoying. It's not sharp. I can run my finger over it without cutting myself, but it's obviously there. The cheeky way of doing it is to take this out and turn it upside down but then you lose the pulsar logo and you lose the bevel around the edge you know we'd rather we, we've failed to find one but we'll keep our eyes out if we do find one we will change it and then the price will go up accordingly other than that everything's working including i'm going to go back to those magnets where this time set bar that they called it on the back you adjust it by holding a magnet against each of these and quite quickly it will start to go over the different times. So where do you store your magnet? Well it's actually stored in the bracelet clasp. It clips in and it's there, it's that little black part there and that clips down which is why you've got the extra spring bar to hold that in place and then that's sealed against your wrist most of the time Hence it's still there, it's not been lost. Clever design. So this is a very it, perfectly working, wearable Pulsar P3. Not as expensive as some because of the, the chip and with that nice to have bracelet and of course the box and papers always help. Now I'm sorry this is a longer video than normal but you can see there's quite a lot going on on this watch that not everyone's going to be familiar with and it's probably the funkiest watch that you could have in 1975. This one's available now at berthierwatches.com with a link in the comments below. Thanks for watching.